Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a GoDaddy FTP user. So the first thing you need to do is you need to sign into your account. So click on my account and please log in or you can also just put in your customer name and password in here. I like to use the other one. So I already have mine saved up and there we go. Now you want to open the web hosting manager so click on my product then web hosting and just the web hosting that you're trying to look at it should say hosting and whatever type of hosting like uh, blogs uh, regular or whatever you have to click on launch and once that opens up you have to go to settings and FTP users once you're there you can create an FTP user by clicking on add FTP user and then you go ahead and give it a name and a password now the path is uh, to what level is this user going to be able to access so basically if you just leave it uh, the hosting root will give it access to everything and these are some subdirectories I have created on mine so you might want to give it I don't know for example oh this one is a nice feature use FTP user as directory so if you create this one it's going to create a directory that's going to be called whatever the user's name is and he's only going to have access to that so entire FTP path <clears throat> you're going to click on save Oh, and uh, of course, it has some restrictions. So it says at least it must contain one uppercase. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And that's it. So now what we have to do is we have to wait some time until that loads up. And as soon as it usually takes I would say 30 minutes sometimes even five but uh, once that's done it's gonna just go ahead and give us uh, a message that the FTP user is done and what we can do is we can go ahead and open like for example I'm gonna use FileZilla and how I would connect to the server it's by clicking here open site manager and on the user, that's the FTP user, make sure it says uh, you have your domain, FTP as, it, uh, as the protocol, then log on type normal, if it's GoDaddy, again, the user, whatever user you created, the password, and for GoDaddy, you have to select the transfer settings, passive, make sure you have that, other than that, it's not going to connect. And click on connect, and it will get you connected, and that's it. So thank you for watching.